in the event there are four agents, we are talking handwritings of about seven people. And you're being told the Honorable William Ruto had the capacity to intercept these forms, 11,000 of them in eight minutes, and alter them. It is in the realm of fiction. And I suggest perhaps politicians should stick to politics and leave fiction to artists. Or are you going to believe, my lady, when you're told that the Honorable William Ruto had this young man with a laptop at the National Tiling Center, and that this is the laptop he was using to do these things called dumping, staging, and whatever not. I think we may have our own views about various citizens, my lady and my lords, but I am struggling to understand who is this fraudster that would walk to a laptop not in some remote place, some inaccessible place where all he has is the network, but he would go to the National Tallying Center with a laptop, and the only reason he has that laptop is to intercept results in the full glare of our TV cameras, in the full glare of all those security men and women that are in that Tallying Center, under the ego eye of all the agents, it is simply spurious. My Lord, you are told all these things, and I'm sorry if, if this is repetitive. The least we would expect is you to be shown a Form 34A that was altered, and not the ones they have cooked as a work of fiction. The least we expected is for them to tell you which are the polling